The JVM has a great monitoring and configuration facility called JMX. JMX allows software components to publish so-called mBeans. Most importantly, mBeans have attributes and operations. So they can provide statistics and information on the one hand, and on the other hand, expose an interface for configuration. This facility can either be used by other software or also directly by humans. JProfiler has a great mBean browser. It's really easy to use. It just works out of the box without any need to configure JMX connectors in the profile JVM or something like that. At the left of the mBean browser, you can see all mBeans in the profile JVM. The tree structure comes from decomposing the full names of the mBeans into their single attributes. This makes it easier to define things and group related mBeans together. Let's look at the different mBeans that we have here. There are quite a lot of mBeans that are published by the JVM itself. They're always there, so it's good to know them. Mostly they are in the Java categories here, but there's also Comson management that is interesting. At the top, there is something from JProfiler. JProfiler indeed publishes an mBean into every profile JVM that lets you control the profiling agent. When you're using the JProfiler UI, you're not likely to need it, but in offline profiling situations, it can come in handy. At the bottom of the tree, there are a number of Jetty packages. That's the application server that I'm profiling right now. Generally, application servers are heavy MBIN users. Finally, the second entry from the top here is from a JDBC connection pool. So libraries can publish MBINs and offer maintenance operations and tuning options. With an MBIN browser, you can find MBINs in places where you least expected them. Let's see what we can do with attributes. And for that, we go to an MBean that is a little more generally understandable. For example, the memory MBean that is published by the JVM. Attributes are displayed in a tree table structure. However, only the top level of that tree table structure actually displays MBean attributes. Anything that is nested comes from the way that arrays, composite data, or tabular data are displayed. Composite data is an mBean concept of how to generically represent any kind of object, and tabular data is something like a database table. The first two rows here are composite data. They're derived from a class that you can find in the JRE, and if you open the first row here, you can see the properties of that class. Attributes can be immutable, like this one here, or mutable, like the next one, in which case you get an edit icon at the end of the row. You can then double click on the row and change the value. Now the JVM prints verbose output for GC operations. The runtime mBean has an example for tabular data. The system properties here are actually represented as a table with a single string key column and a single string value column. In that case, JProfile can transpose the table and display it in line in the tree table structure. That is very convenient because in that way you can search for VM parameters. To check out mBean operations, let's move on to the threading mBean. If we look at the list of mBean operations, we can see that each mBean operation has a signature. For example, dump all threads here has two Boolean input arguments and returns an array of composite data. To invoke an operation, we just double-click on it and supply the input arguments. The return value of an mBean operation is displayed in a separate window with a tree table that looks very much like the one for displaying the mBean attributes. In this case, the return value is an array with 25 elements. Each element is composite data derived from Java Long Management Thread Info. That is a complex class with internal structure that you can browse like in a debugger. Let's look at one more operation in the Comson Management Diagnostic Command MBean. The VM command line operation describes the invocation of the profile process. That can be interesting at times. And because the operation returns a single string value, it is displayed immediately in a text area that can be scrolled and from which you can copy the entire string to the clipboard. I would definitely recommend to try out the MBean browser on your own application. 
If you investigate the MBNs and their attributes and operations, you'll be sure to find out a lot of interesting stuff.